negative synergy. Seeking the third alternative is a major paradigm shift from the dichotomous, either, or mentality. But look at the difference in results. How much negative energy is typically expended when people try to solve problems or make decisions in an interdependent reality? How much time is spent in confessing other people's sins, politicking, rivalry, interpersonal conflict, protecting one's backside, masterminding, and second-guessing? It's like trying to drive down the road with one foot on the gas and the other foot on the brake. And instead of getting a foot off the brake, most people give it more gas. They try to apply more pressure, more eloquence, more logical information to strengthen their position. The problem is that highly dependent people are trying to succeed in an interdependent reality. They're either dependent on borrowing strength from position power and they go for win-lose or they're dependent on being popular with others and they go for lose-win. They may talk win-win technique, but they don't really want to listen, they want to manipulate. And synergy can't thrive in that environment. Insecure people think that all reality should be amenable to their paradigms. They have a high need to clone others, to mold them over into their own thinking. They don't realize that the very strength of the relationship is in having another point of view. Sameness is not oneness, uniformity is not unity. Unity, or oneness, is complementariness, not sameness. Sameness is uncreative dot 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 and boring. The essence of synergy is to value the differences. I've come to believe that the key to interpersonal synergy is intrapersonal synergy, that is synergy within ourselves. The heart of interpersonal synergy is embodied in the principles in the first three habits, which give the internal security sufficient to handle the risks of being open and vulnerable. By internalizing those principles, we develop the abundance mentality of win-win and the authenticity of habit 5. One of the very practical results of being principle-centered is that it makes us whole truly integrated. People who are scripted deeply in logical, verbal, left-brain thinking will discover how totally inadequate that thinking is in solving problems which require a great deal of creativity. They become aware and begin to open up a new script inside their right brain. It's not that the right brain wasn't there, it just lay dormant. The muscles had not been developed or perhaps they had atrophied after early childhood because of the heavy left brain emphasis of formal education or social scripting. When a person has access to both the intuitive, creative, and visual right brain, and the analytical, logical, verbal left brain, then the whole brain is working. In other words, there is psychic synergy taking place in our own head. And this tool is best suited to the reality of what life is, because life is not just logical it is also emotional. One day I was presenting a seminar which I titled, Manage from the Left, Lead from the Right to a Company in Orlando, Florida. During the break, the president of the company came up to me and said, Stephen, this is intriguing. But I have been thinking about this material more in terms of its application to my marriage than to my business. My wife and I have a real communication problem. I wonder if you would have lunch with the two of us and just kind of watch how we talk to each other? Let's do it, I replied. As we sat down together, we exchanged a few pleasantries. Then this man turned to his wife and said, Now, honey, I've invited Stephen to have lunch with us to see if he could help us in our communication with each other. I know you feel I should be a more sensitive, considerate husband. Could you give me something specific you think I ought to do? His dominant left brain wanted facts, figures, specifics, parts. Well, as I've told you before, it's nothing specific. It's more of a general sense I have about priorities. Her dominant right brain was dealing with sensing and with the gestalt, the whole, the relationship between the parts. What do you mean, a general feeling about priorities? What is it you want me to do? Give me something specific I can get a handle on. Well, it's just a feeling. Her right brain was dealing in images, intuitive feelings. I just don't think our marriage is as important to you as you tell me it is. Well, what can I do to make it more important? Give me something concrete and specific to go on. It's hard to put into words. At that point, 
he just rolled his eyes and looked at me as if to say, Stephen, could you endure this kind of dumbness in your marriage? It's just a feeling, she said, a very strong feeling. Honey, he said to her, that's your problem. And that's the problem with your mother. In fact, it's the problem with every woman I know. Then he began to interrogate her as though it were some kind of legal deposition. Do you live where you want to live? That's not it, she sighed. That's not it at all. I know, he replied with a forced patience. But since you won't tell me exactly what it is, I figure the best way to find out what it is is to find out what it is not. Do you live where you want to live? I guess. Honey, Stephen's here for just a few minutes to try to help us. Just give me a quick yes or no answer. Do you live where you want to live? Yes. Okay. That's settled. Do you have the things you want to have? Yes. All right. Do you do the things you want to do? This went on for a little while, and I could see I wasn't helping at all. So I intervened and said, Is this kind of how it goes in your relationship? Every day, Stephen, he replied. It's the story of our marriage, she sighed. I looked at the two of them and the thought crossed my mind that they were two half-brained people living together. Do you have any children? I asked. Yes, two. Really? I asked incredulously. How did you do it? What do you mean how did we do it? You were synergistic. I said. One plus one usually equals two. But you made one plus one equal four. Now that's synergy. The whole is greater than the sum of the parts. So how did you do it? You know how we did it, he replied. You must have valued the differences. I exclaimed. I exclaimed.